well students today we are going to study something about atomic masses molar masses mole concept but before that let us start with an atom that you would have studied in your lower standard where you would have studied that in an atom you have electrons protons and neutrons of which protons and neutrons are inside the nucleus and electrons are revolving around the nucleus in the orbits and you also would have studied that when we talk of an atom the mass of neutrons and protons are considered and electron is neglected and so we say that atomic mass is sum of masses of protons and neutrons in an atom i repeat atomic mass is sum of atom sum of masses of protons and neutrons of an atom nowadays we do have mass spectrometer right mass spectrometer is an high tech device where the one wall of it would be having certain magnetic fields and the beam of vapors of whosoever's atomic mass has to be measured is passed that vapors are electrolyzed and they deviate and by their mass and charge ratio they find atomic masses par wo to aaj in past they didn't have that technology so what they used to do carbon 12 was taken as a reference i repeat carbon 12 atomic mass unit wala carbon was taken as an reference and with respect to that remaining all other elements atomic masses were calculated i repeat carbon 12 was taken as an reference and based on that all others relative atomic masses were calculated and in those days the carbon if i say carbon 12 the unit was atomic mass unit amu atomic mass unit now let's see what is application of that atomic mass now let's see application of atomic mass by using atomic masses you can find molecular mass but before moving to that before moving to that the mass spectrometer nowadays right would give us average atomic mass as i said the beam of vapors passed it bends mass and charge ratio so on that basis it gives average atomic mass like let's say when we talk of an example of chlorine cl its atomic number is 17 but its two isotopes that are most abundant one is with the atomic mass 35 the other one with 37 but when the composition is studied the one with 35 mass is 75% or 1/3 and sorry 2/3 and 1/3 is the one of 37 so by maths right average that is the addition of all observations upon total that is 75% multiply by 35 plus 25% multiply by 37 divided by 100 it comes out to be 35.5 so nowadays whatever atomic masses you read in the textbooks they are average atomic masses we would be rather using round up atomic masses as an application to find molecular mass which is nothing but sum of atomic masses of all atoms let's see an example like if i want to find molecular mass of water h2o so it would be sum of atomic masses of two hydrogen and one oxygen atomic mass of hydrogen is 1 so 2 into 1 plus atomic mass of oxygen is 16 1 into 16 so 2 plus 16 18 atomic mass unit if i want to find molecular mass of sulfuric acid h2so4 so it's sum of atomic masses of two hydrogen one sulfur and four oxygen hydrogen's atomic mass one so 2 into 1 sulfur 32 1 into 32 oxygen 16 4 into 16 so that's 2 plus 32 plus 64 98 atomic mass unit 
similarly molecular mass of calcium carbonate caco3 that's one calcium plus one carbon and three oxygens calcium's atomic mass is 4040 so 40 plus 12 aq carbon and 48 as three oxygen so that gives 100 amu also written as u in that way we can find molecular mass but now the bigger problem is itself with amu atomic mass unit because amu when we say 1 amu that's 1.66 into 10 raised to minus 24 gram it's too small what it means practically i repeat practically we cannot take the masses of amu because when you say one atom of carbon that rounds up to 19.9 into 10 raised to minus 24 gram or hum jo cheeze lete hai already are in grams so how to relate that atomic mass with the values or the masses that we take that is grams so uska solution was found by avogadro in his avogadro's concept which we now call it as avogadro's mole concept so let's see to that okay so now what we were saying is amu right not a user friendly unit because we never take 10 raised to minus 24 10 raised to minus 23 hum normal grams mein lete hai and that solution was suggested by avogadro where he didn't did anything very spectacular in terms of experiments but mathematically he calculated one number that what if one number i take where if we take that many number of particles whether atoms or molecules the mass should remain same value as suggested by mass spectrometer but the unit becomes gram I repeat, he mathematically did one simple logical thing that if one carbon atom is 19.2 into 10 raised to minus 24 gram, then what number should I take so that I get 12 gram? Because atomic mass of carbon is 12. So that relative number was 6.022 into 10 raised to 23. We call it as Avogadro's number. And according to Avogadro, if we take 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 particles of any substance, I repeat, of any substance, the mass will be in gram, but the value same as in AMU. Matlab, if I am taking one mole, that is 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 atoms of carbon, the mass will be exactly 12 gram. If I take one mole, that means 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 molecules of water, the mass will be exactly equal to 18 gram. If you remember 18 amu, right? So that's how that was done. Now see students, something I have written on the board that, right? So mole, and if we take one mole carbon, it's a 12 gram, matlab wasn't in gram. Now remember mole, jab bhi dimaag mein hai cheez hai, mole. To mole matlab ek cluster, jund, jaysay dozen hota hai. One dozen, that means 12. Score, right, kodi, ek kodi patang, be kodi patang, score, that is 20. Same way mole matlab ek huge cluster, but a cluster which converts masses into gram. Right? So that's Avogadro's concept. What we can generalize from Avogadro concept is a triangular relationship where if we think of one mole, one mole means a cluster. Kitna? 6.022 into 10 raised to 23. And when we take one mole, matlab mass is in gram, right? Molar mass. But the value same as atomic mass mein jo tha. AMU mein jo tha. So, one mole, molar mass, molar mass, one mole, one mole, 6.022 into 10 raised to 23, 6.022 into 23 is one mole. And using this logic, you can solve many questions of any level of exams. Let's see few of them. 
I have titled it as applications of mole concept, right? This triangular relationship. Where the first is, if someone says, how many moles of molecules are there in dash gram so and so? Like, how many moles of carbon dioxide are in 8.8 .8 gram CO2? So, moles. So, a formula is made. Number of moles equals to given gram upon molecular mass. So, directly you will get number of moles equals to 8.8 .8 upon 44, 0.2 moles. Kuch khatar naag nahi kiya student. One mole, molar mass, matlab 44 gram, one mole. So 8.8 .8 gram, how much? Cross multiply, yehi aayega. So better, we always make a formula, given gram upon molar mass. But suppose someone says, how many molecules are there? Matlab we are including the number also. So number of molecules is moles, that is given gram upon molar mass into Avogadro number. Let us see with one suitable example. Okay, let's see an example to calculate number of molecules, right, using the formula, like how many molecules are there in 16 gram oxygen gas, oxygen O2, it's a molecular form, so number of molecules, that's number of moles, means given gram upon molar mass into Avogadro number, molar mass O2, 16 to the 32, so given gram 16, Molar mass 32 into Na, that is Avogadro's number, right? Calculate and it's 3.011 into 10 raised to 23 molecules. Now let's say, if suppose same, a molecule is given and they ask how many atoms are there? I repeat, molecule is given. Like let's say, bol diya, 18 gram water, how many molecules nahi? How many atoms are there? Right? It's like simple way. Kisine bol diya that there is a farm and in that farm there are 100 trees. Right? Molecules represent trees and on each tree there are 100 mangoes. And someone says, how can you calculate mangoes? To ek 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 ginne baitoge? Nahi. You know there are 100 trees. You know each tree has 100 mangoes. So number of trees multiplied by number of mangoes. Same thing. If molecule is given, molecular form, you have to find number of atoms. So simple, number of molecules into atoms in each molecule. And already number two application, formula for number of molecules is given gram upon molar mass into Avogadro number. So see the kar dene ka. Like if someone says in 18 gram water, if you want to find number of atoms, to given gram, upon molar mass, given gram upon molar mass, 18 upon 18, Na, Avogadro number, into number of atoms in water, that is 3, and you would get 18.066 or 1.8066 into 10 raised to 24. In scientific notation, 18 rakhte ho to 23, right? Similarly, now for everything we can't make a formula, a common sense hai. Kisne bol diya, how many atoms are there in 16 gram helium, right? To helium, to jaise number of molecules find kiya, molecular form, to same way number of atoms in atomic form, see the hai, moles into Avogadro number, right? So that's how there are there. Now see one most interesting application of mole concept, highly preferable in MCQs of JEE NEET and that is to relate this mole concept with stoichiometry. How? To see what is done, you always remember that in an equation we have those stoichiometric coefficients aage numbers lagate ho balance karne ke liye. So those coefficients we related to moles. That is if I have a reaction nitrogen plus hydrogen giving ammonia N2 koi number nahi matlab 1. So one nitrogen reacting with three hydrogen giving two NH3. So that number one, three, two, we relate it with moles. Matlab one nitrogen to two ammonia. Matlab one mole to two moles. That is one mole nitrogen related to two moles ammonia. And on that basis, we can find the numerical grams 
let's see with an example once again remember two things in equations your reactions based mole concept sums one step one the balanced reaction of course it is the compulsory convert or compare stoichiometric coefficients to moles in short stoichiometric coefficients ko moles mein convert karo and moles to molar mass i repeat remember two steps convert stoichiometric coefficients to moles moles to molar mass let's see with two examples right like how many gram of water is obtained or produced by reacting 64 gram oxygen gas oxygen gas o2 with h2 gas i repeat how many gram of water is produced and oxygen is given the equation 2h2 plus o2 of course gases converts to h2o right gas or liquid both allowed so here see here that is the first thing right now second molar masses of oxygen that is 32 right and that of water 2h plus o that is 2 plus 16 18 right molar mass to karna hi hai mole concept ke numericals right equation based ab maine jo do steps kahe wo step 1 convert stoichiometric coefficient to moles water to the stoichiometric coefficient oxygen 1 so 1 mole out to gives 2 moles water step 2 convert mole into molar mass that is 1 into 32 g gives 2 into 18 g h2o right uh, once again step 1 stoichiometry coefficients convert them into moles 1 and 2 moles convert into molar mass 32 and 18 so 1 into 32 grams gives this much so 64 gram gives how much so the mass that you get is 2 into 18 into 64 by 32 that's 72 gram similarly one example of the textbook exercise right they have asked how many gram of hydrochloric acid hcl reacts with 5 g of mno2 and the reaction given is 4 hcl plus mno2 gives 2 h2o mncl2 and chlorine remember one thing atomic masses would be given for sure like what i have written in the bracket or serpentile bracket rather ha in textbook they have not given because textbook already has those masses right manganese chlorine oxygen hydrogen as i said stoichiometric mole concept sums pehla kaam molar masses find kar lo of those compounds which you need like you need hcl you need mno2 right molar masses mn plus 2o that's 87 hcl h plus cl 36.5 and now those two steps mno2 and hcl 4 hcl 1 mno2 so 1 and 4 convert into moles that is 1 mole mno2 4 mole hcl step 2 moles convert to molar mass that is 1 into 87 gives or needs 4 into 36.5 gram of hcl so given gram that is 5 needs how much cross multiply and you will get the 8.39 grams right this is the simplest way to solve the mole concept sums based on stoichiometry now see what if dono diye hai like i come back to this question what if the question says how many gram of water is produced by reacting 64 gram oxygen with 16 gram hydrogen to akkad bakkad nahi chalega in that we will have to first find limiting reagent and then the same two steps but how to find limiting reagent will continue next time